Yo, what's going on, y'all? Things are getting real interesting in the NBA world. Just what I like to see. We got some beef. Pause. But, yo, I'm not going to lie, man. I like this. This is just what the NBA needed. Just exactly what I wanted. Um, We got some player beef, you know. Both guys are kind of trying to play the bigger man. Like, nah, it ain't nothing there. But, you you know, they're still taking some shots. But I do want to say one thing. This all kind of stemmed from... um. When uh, LeBron and Giannis was doing the All Star uh, All Star draft, and they asked him, I feel like Giannis kind of got set up. I don't have the interview queued up for uh, with Giannis and LeBron or the the draft. I don't have that queued up, but I feel like they was kind of baiting him. Like he was like, um, I don't know who to take here. I couldn't, I can't remember. So don't judge me. I might be wrong. Couldn't remember that one of them got somebody saying like, yeah, you know, Harden don't pass the boys like. And then Giannis says, yeah, I want somebody that can pass. You know, like, so it's kind of egged on. But um, also, what I want to say is, when Giannis said that, I kind of I kind of took it as, he not, he's not saying that Gian, he's not saying that Harden can pass. He's saying that Harden's more of a score first. He wants a guy that will probably take the back seat to him, maybe, which would have helped him win MVP. Like, he want a guy that he knows gonna, he doesn't mind not scoring the ball. And we, James Harden can pass the ball. We've seen him... Uh, Average, I think he's he averaged he averaged ten assists before, if I'm not mistaken, right? I mean, I think he was close to averaging a triple double the year that um uh Westbrook did it. Let me see something real quick. Uh, let's just take a look. I feel like Harden has averaged ten assists at least twice in his career. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. You know, never know. But let's just take a look. Right now, he's averaging seven assists with Westbrook on his team. Okay. Oh no. So he's he's only averaged uh ten assists once, but these are still great numbers assist wise. Seven point five. He's averaging six point three for his career, and uh, all his assist his numbers his assist numbers went way up since he joined Houston. So we all know Harden can pass. He has multiple triple doubles. A lot of them. If I had to guess, Harden has at least forty triple doubles, minimum. But um yeah. So it all it all started from that All Star draft. Where he said Harden, he wants somebody that could pass the ball. But I, like I said, I took it as I think Kemba will pass the ball. Like he'll be more willing to pass the ball. Not saying that he can't pass the ball because we all know Harden is a better passer than most of these guys in the NBA. I say Harden's a top ten passer in the NBA for sure. But he just saying he wanted somebody that would pass the ball more. So uh, then you know he also he did have another shot. Now I have to I have to say this. He had a shot where he said. Uh, we said, oh, in the All-Star game, he said, yeah, we were just trying to go after anybody that Harden was guarding. So, you know, that's another shot right there, which I don't think Rachel Nichols brought up. But um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, let's take a look at this real quick. Though. I want to see some of these comments. So we got Bradley Bell putting man and then put the eye emoji. We know what that's about. We got Trey Young saying more beef, just what the people want. Exactly. Kendrick Perkins. I'm all fucking. Oh, damn. I definitely can't make this video for kids now. I MF knew the beard and I don't feel like editing, so I MF knew the beard and old Giannis had beef. James pulled out an AR fifteen and his sit down with Rachel. The league is getting back to where it needs to be. No more of that bestie shish or ish with opposite opponents. Gotta love it. For Evan Fournier, yo, we officially have a Giannis Harden beef with FLA. I love it. And then we got CJ McCollum, you know, finishing off. I ain't rolling. Giannis can do everything but shoot. Facts. But he has skills. If it was easy, every 6'11 dude would be killing. Euro stepping, initiating the break, getting assists. Buddy putting up numbers and winning. And started off 6'10, 180. He worked on his game. Facts. I mean, CJ McCollum just, you know, he just he just spit the facts right there. I can't I can't say anything against that. Um also I don't know why I don't have my page full have my page uh fully maxed out because it looks kind of weird like what's this black space but let me max it out all right so we good now <clears throat> so now we got it uh we're about to take a listen to to the comments with rachel nichols oh i, mi I missed one thing so yeah he took a shot at him talking about his defense so now harden's finally having a chance to clap back let's see what he has to say oh shit Very sensitive blown up around you. Charles Barkley, when they had the all-star draft, was saying, oh, no one wants to take James Harden. He's a dribbler. Giannis Antetokounmpo makes a joke on the air about, uh, I want to take someone who can pass. I'm taking Kemba Walker instead of James Harden. I was more assist to him with him. You ranked 10th in assists going into the all-star break, and Kemba ranked 36th in assists going into the all-star break. So I, don't see, I, don't, I don't see what the joke is. 
But I don't even, I, I didn't even see it, you know? He's lying, Your Honor! I object! At the show, Tom. It's cool, you know. I, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I'm not too mad at it though. Everybody likes to do that. Oh, I'm so above the trash talking, and um, I, I didn't see it. I don't. That wasn't on my radar. Harden, you saw it. Stop lying. But let's continue. Uh, I just know none of them can mess with me. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Talk, talk, talk crazy, huh? Talk crazy. Nah, he's talking to. Him. He said none of them can mess with me. You know, he really wants to say. He wants to say none of them can really me. That's what he wanted to say, but let's continue. Manager had a great line to kind of address all of that. He said, being different doesn't really get appreciated until it works. Yeah, or well, when I'm done. Uh, you know, when it's, when it's all said and done, um, you know, they'll appreciate it more. You know, but I wish I could just run, run and with seven feet and run and just dunk. <laughs> but that takes no skill at all. <laughs> it does take skill, but continue. I got to actually learn how to play basketball and how to have skill, you know? I'll take that any day. Do you think that in the And you can't hate on a man for God given, you know, can't hate on a man for God given stuff like it's not his fault he grew to freaking six eleven, seven feet and he gonna freaking move like a gazelle a gazelle. <laughs> Come on, stop hating. Is this gonna give you the respect that you think yeah, you deserve? I mean, it is, and I will get it. Mm, the chip, that's the only way Harden is gonna get some respect. I'm not gonna lie because dudes talking about his defense. Talk about he always choking in the playoffs. We've seen it many times, but you know, I'm gonna just sip this. This grape juice. Grape juice is in this cup. I don't know why it's in the wine cup, but it's in this cup. But yeah, that's about to be it for the video, man. Let me know what you guys think. I like this. I don't even wanna say I like this. I love this. I just wish, I, matter of fact, I say I like it. You know why I don't love it? Because these guys is fronting. Uh, I should go find the Giannis video where he's talking about Harden 2 and just let that play. And then get up out of here and ask you guys what you think about it. But I don't like this trying to be the bigger guy thing. I don't, I don't like that. I don't love it. I don't love it. I still like that he took a shot, but I just wish he stunned on it more. Okay, we got the clip right here. Stand up. You know, you guys came here to do a job and we obviously we got the job for now. Also, everybody has to do a job, but... Um, he hasn't been a bag before. Like I'm, I'm not that type of guy. I'm never try to take stabs at somebody. Somebody. Um, maybe sometimes I uh, might come out like that, but I'm definitely not. I'm come on, Giannis. Yeah, which is win games and go Come on, games. man, stand on it. You threw the ball at the man's head. You know, if that's what he believes. That's what he believes. I can, you know, uh, say nothing about it. I just gotta keep being focused and. Um, yeah, and that's what Giannis had to say, man. Both these guys are front and just say, yo, I don't like that bum. Like, I feel like he flop a lot, you know. Oh, look, this is hard. And ducking on, ducking at one of uh, Giannis' elbow three. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. And that's about it, man. I just want to find some, somebody. We're going to find somewhere where Giannis beamed hard on with the ball. Uh, we could probably scroll. I was going through all these tweets just looking for the... Oh, here you go. Oh, yeah, and that's about it, man. Let me know what you guys think about this beef. Do you guys think it's good for the NBA uh, that we got these guys uh, having some sort of rivalry? They also played March 25th, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, that game is going to be marked on the calendar for a lot of people. Uh, should be, it should be a good game. Right now, the Bucks are killing it. Um, number one seed in the NBA Rockets. I think they're on like a four game win streak, you know, been a lot better since Capella been traded with all that floor space. And so, uh, I like this, man. It, it brings some more, it brings some more energy to the regular season games, which been kind of dead. And after we said NBA ratings are going down. So, you know, it's just cause everybody is, you know, what the problem is too. We made such a focus on just winning the chip that nobody really appreciates the regular season anymore. Like. So, you know, that's what I think is the problem with the regular season. So, we get some rivalries back. We have some, you know, with people marking down calendar games. Like, marking games down their calendar for ones they want to see. That's exactly what we need. So, we probably need a few better storylines. But, overall, man, let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here. Peace.